and fourth mode could be advanced rich portal with web resources lms kind of thing which can be put on the internet so there are four modes of delivery sorry okay so now what we can do is with this once the instruction is delivered the challenge is to assure education that is engagement of learners in the stipulated learning activities and related assessment uh, systems why can't we articulate this is what i have been struggling in uh, igno that we will put for every course this is the video lecture this is the self learning material these are the sequences of activities to be performed what are the resource requirement this mapping of the content to processes is very essential to create a system the third thing is in the study centers we igno is not correspondence course that should be removed in this we give study material we try to give support through contact classes of course it's up to the student to come and take it we do have some monitoring but it's not strong enough so we can engage the learners through varieties of activities both online activities as well as study center related because practicals in bsc chemistry are conducted in designated study centers in colleges so the, so there are many such things and we have tried to perfect why not now come with a system which makes the best of both worlds open learning uh, built through collaborations of experts through universities implicitly igno has been doing that all our self planning materials are written by experts from various kinds of institution now we can recognize it institutionalize institutionalize it for example nptel content can be added with igno self learning materials in the subject in igno's method of generating and put it to the engineering college now the affiliating universities can take these course processes which we define and they can conduct The, the, uh, use the teachers in the affiliating colleges of the technical university or something and conduct those program maybe teacher certification can be done by a joint igno and ptel kind of situations so it is possible now to launch a national movement emphasizing quality in education and assuring learning and teaching engagement processes that is possible so we have to come with enabling policy what kind of policies then are we looking for one is i believe the time has come to replace the council method of thinking with an open regulatory framework okay open regulatory framework will say the con the the, the course design is assured by experts igno type np tell and other kind of processes express openly on the internet is openly published so whole world can scrutinize it and suggest there is a wiki to discuss the course so a social networking method of regulatory on the course design is possible that is what i have been struggling to tell igno but even within igno i have to go a little some more because they have to be equipped which is another uh, issue i mean you need the network to reach our regional centers study centers then this will happen more naturally and then because if the implement if the instrument to implement is there it becomes easier to Uh, realize what you are telling that is very important so national knowledge network should take it up that way the other thing is that the you in the open regulatory framework you stipulate the you have to assure the processes in the colleges so you have a regulatory mechanism to assure and something like a iso type audit can be done a malcolm baldrige quality parameters of education excellence can be audited and it can be done in a periodic audit basis that tells the weakness or strengths of implementing and appreciation and that will help in improving the system so all any measurement inspection parameters should be enabling not just put some uh, approved or not approved. the permit quota approval mindset should be removed totally then only we can move into the next generation of education and you blend for example teachers can be supported through open learning and the teachers can be uh, conducting the classes with direct online support of web mentors and other kinds of things this two tier support system will enable a lot of inexperienced teachers now to become experienced teachers it takes 10 years of apprenticeship to become a good teacher telling my my experience and we don't give that incubation chance for becoming training and teachers and it's a moonshine to say that we will have online education teaching things without teachers it is teachers who drive the imagination processes management etc we need high technology oriented teachers now so we have to put enormous effort in these teachers so i in a final statement i think we need to have something like a a better than nascom type body i want to call it national association for educational excellence with about four mandates number 
it promotes discusses debates and and guides the implementation of a open regulatory framework secondly it works closely with the industry and the institutions concerned to open up the cloud cloud computing space we we'll have a national clouds forum so public cloud was for social networking is nurtured as a kind of online industry and private clouds for assessment individual processes in the college and the whole thing should be cloud shifted we should be on top of whatever there is called national knowledge network or whatever this vision is totally lacking at the moment in national mission on education or in ICT or something thirdly we need a services regulatory authority to tariff these things so that just like mobile charter per student per use basis per course basis some kind of basis you fix the tariff so that there is a level playing ground for industry to compete in this space and make this offering and also institutions to accept and subscribe to these spaces this is a very critical at least if these three are in place and then of course a kind of education grid which enables this inter university collaboration that is let us liberate good teachers from the universities also let teachers from multiple institutions come together teach course spaces and learning spaces and manage those spaces and recognize give students the liberty to choose courses from multiple institutions so that it becomes learner centric if you would put this four mandate to be nurtured by a national association of excellence i think we can go a far way and we can reeducate the government and reprofile the government's roles in this game that is absolutely essential thank you